So welcome to the Techie Rock. You are watching this video, and in this video, I am going to show you how you can share and view your Android files directly on your computer by just only one click. That is the FTP server. Then you can share your files via FTP. That is file transfer protocol. Just set your IP from the dynamic to the static and save these. Then you can. You just need to hit that button in the notification panel. Then boom, your all files are shared, and then you can view these files and copy these files from your computer. So for this, I'm going to use the Solid File Explorer and the MI File Explorer, and you can also use ES File Explorer. So if you want this, just keep watching this video. So just install the Solid File Explorer and just open it. And here you can see the shortcut in the notification panel that is the FTP server on. You can see the IP address over here and showing the IP address with the port number and you just need to enter this IP address with port number on the this PC address bar your file explorer's address bar here you can see just enter the IP address with the port number on the address bar and hit enter and make sure to copy this by control C and you can see the whole internal storage is on here without any USB cable so now you just need to add a shortcut so on your this pc's home screen just right click on it and select network location and here next just select it and next and here you just need to control v just paste it that you copied and now login anonymous and hit the any nickname that you want to i'm going to enter the redmi next again and finish it now shortcut edit then you can access your internal storage directly from your home screen of your file explorer and you can create folder copy any files like any huge files videos photos the whole dcim like camera all files are here then you can any see view the properties of it and just copy it directly from it no usb cable required it just depends on your same wi-fi network so this is like modern you need to connect the pen drive to your smartphone then copy this file to the computer or just connect the usb cable if you don't have the time and want to make it simple then use this method and you can see the speed of transferring files like i'm going to transfer this file that is basically 100 mb And this is the speed to the hardest to the hardest and now i'm going to copy this to my smartphone by the ftp server like here you can see redmi and in the sample folder just paste it so you can paste any file to your smartphone you can paste any in the smartphone let me show you the the folder that we created at the jet sample and here you can see video is here and you can play it and you can also open any file directly but i don't suggest you to directly open any file because this will open in the browser so just copy this file any folder on your hard disk then view this file so yeah and if you want to disable it tap it once to disable it and then you can't access your files here you need to enable it in the notification panel to view all the files and this is the solid file explorer that i'm going to use it so how to do it just go to the ftp server and hit the start or the stop button this is the main word feature and in the settings you need to just change directly you can change any directly you can change any directory like internal storage or the sd card or any specific folder to share these files on the ftp server you can change any port and you can also enter password and you can also create a shortcut on your home screen to enable it or disable it but the best way is from the notification panel so in the play store just you can you need to install the mi file explorer if you want to use it from the mi file explorer 
so here you can see the FTP server and in the settings you can check out some settings over here like port number 999 is simple to enter then the hit start and select the internal storage or the SD card just internal storage and the hit start and then copy and paste this IP address in your file explorer address bar and remember you can also enter this IP address in your browser also so in the ES file explorer here you can see some other option that is view on PC and the network also so view on PC before start just check out some settings like port number just select the directory which you want to share to the FTP server and you can just access your files on anywhere on your another smartphone or anywhere by just entering that IP address with the port number on any browser any smartphone's browser any computer's browser or anything that is connected to the same dead Wi-Fi network and hit the turn on so you all know this that when you connect to the Wi-Fi the IP address will not the same that was previously connected so for this you just need to select the IP address from the dynamic to the static so just go to the Wi-Fi settings and just edit it select the advanced option select the static and just hit the IP address so next time you will only connect it to the Wi-Fi by this IP address so you don't need to change the settings for your FTP server so just save it so yeah just select it enable from the notification panel FTP server activated and now you can view your files on your computer it's simple so here's the my two device that is POCO X2 and the Redmi so POCO X2 device is connected and the Redmi device is also connected files from the both of my smartphone so yeah thanks for watching hope you really like this video and if you really enjoyed this video then make sure to do the subscribe button and hit the like button stay tuned for the next video